Hey, what's up? I'm Adam Stone, the director, writer of Complex Structure Known as Relationship, and I'm here with my good compadre, Brandon Bonnet. He has nothing to do with the film, but <laughs> he's here to um, make the conversation a little less lonely on my commentary. Um, say what's up, Brandon. Hey, what's going on? It's coming along to about two years since I... Since you had it in the film festival? Well, no. The film festival was in October, but since I wrote the film was okay. around May or June. So it's a good time to do something I always wanted to do, which was a commentary, and I know you've always wanted to do one. So I have, I have. How about you jump on one? So. <laughs> All right. All right. All right. So here's our opening. Yes, this is the opening of the film. Where'd you um, find this guy? This guy was actually friends with the uh, lead actress, uh, Christina Fold. She she knew him from somewhere, and she just brought him to me, and I was like, okay, cool. And he just took the script and like ran with it. So oh, he was cool. he was incredible to work with. I think you know he just he stood in front of this light, all these lights for like a good forty five minutes. He was just like sweating. He like, never moved. It was crazy. But um, yeah, the uh, the opening part here is probably the uh, one of the things I probably regret the most uh, the, about the film. Was, really? Yeah, I like it. <laughs> I wanted, oh, bag! Did that say me in the moon productions? Yeah, that's oh, me the, the good old days. The good old me in me in the moon production. All right. Yeah, I like this opening a lot. I thought this was really cool. I remember the first time I watched it, it was kind of was getting me ready for the movie for the flick. It looked really good. You like the uh, the old picture frame? Yeah, and then kind of fighting back and forth for it. I yeah. thought that was really cool. I have no idea where the idea of the picture frame came from. It looks good. I just remember seeing a picture frame in my house, and I was like, hey, guys, hey why don't we just try this? And here's the long, awkward, blank, black screen before yeah. with the long phone call. I needed to get from here to there, so... Yeah. Um, I had to, had to have, like, a few more rings. It always gives you... For some reason, it gives me the feeling that it's um, about to be a really big movie. For some reason, like, yeah. maybe Eagle Eye is about to happen. <laughs> I don't know why. Maybe. This maybe. was one of my favorite shots that I uh, was ever... Like, this was the first day of shooting right here. Before we go in, like, just that opening, the one thing I will just say that's terrific about this movie, you really... And I think a lot of maybe other filmmakers in Lubbock have come to do it as well, but you really gave Lubbock, Texas a completely different look. You think like so? I really do. Like it's almost like like you can almost like I don't know. It just does not feel like Lubbock, Texas. I'm born and raised, lived here my whole life, and to me, like I really felt like you shed a different light on Lubbock, Texas. Like you opened it up, kind of. You know, we got the whole downtown look, which you know kind of gives a city look. Which right. you know I, that's not really how I see Lubbock, Texas in yeah, my mind. So <laughs> and that's one thing I really because I've showed this to a couple people myself and. Uh, I kind of mess with them and be, be like, can you tell where this is filmed? And a lot of them say Dallas. Really? So that's actually one person I've gotten. He actually thought it was filmed in Dallas. So. That's crazy. Yeah. I really, uh, this apartment complex was crazy. It had no electricity in it. And uh, we shot this. Is her hair wet or is she just sweating? I think she actually, yeah, probably both. Um, <laughs> now this was like one of my favorite things to shoot was uh, this. Uh, I like that. I like that. Because we shot so much stuff at one moment. Here's becoming one of my favorite shots coming up next. Um, it was really cool to actually shoot this crane shot or the jib shot. Because Did you actually have a jib? It was a jib, yeah. And, it was, right. and the thing was, it was, um, you know, my you know my first flick for re like a real one. And we have like a jib shot, and it was like I, I probably was almost brought to tears, like just having the, seeing the footage and all this stuff, and it was just moving. Yeah, Dude, the lighting. Well, I commend you on the lighting here. It looks, yeah, I, I, it looks good. Like it feels like you're actually at a show. You shot this. This wasn't a venue, was this it? Is, no, this wasn't a venue. This is the lighting is actually uh, owed to um, the cinematographer Matthew Tividam. He actually lit the whole thing. Okay. Pretty much. Um, he had a gaffer with him, which was, um, really helped out. But the uh, it was actually shot in a church area. I mean, it had a stage and whatnot. But mm -hmm. yeah, this was not a venue where. They, the whole the band uh, brought all their own equipment and made it look like a real show. And oh, that's cool! Really, really made. I like this shot right here. This is this is right a, here. This was a cool shot. I like that one. I was uh, the way I envisioned this entire movie. You know, was visual. You know, it's a visual yeah. movie. It's not anything other than that. And the way all these shots were exactly how I how I thought them out. So it's really cool that they came to life. 
Um, yeah. That's actually a reverse shot right there. That's not really going down. It <laughs> should be going up. They're all going in reverse right there. Yeah. Here's some just weird footage that was in the in the dailies when I was going through them. Um, I found this these clips of them just packing up. I may I may have told the cinematographer to shoot it, but I remember going through and was like, "Hey, this would be good to put in this weird spot in between the ending of the show." Yeah, and all kind of showing the after. Oh, there's the old who's, blazer. Who's, who's that, blazer? That's is that? my old blazer. That now resides at the at is it the, right now? the pound right the now. The pound. Yeah. <laughs> And here's the bicycle scene, which, you know, she's wearing heels. There's no way she rode a bicycle there. I never, never even noticed that one. Not going to lie. There's represent the Commander Palace sticker over in the corner. Represent. And that's one of my favorite shots, but it's a, like two seconds long. You can see her in that reflection of the yeah. rearview mirror, and I love that. I like it when you're in the back seat. It's coming up here in just oh, a little where bit. I'm one of my favorite shots. Seat. He puts it like this is going to fit in the trunk. That was I know, funny. I know. I, I was going to ask you that. Did that bike actually no, fit in No, it, it would not have fit unless you like laid the seats down. But, you know, why not? Like, oh, someone's cell phone's going off. Oops. Um, that's a reverse shot of, you know, there's actually a lot more to that scene of like with them talking. But, of course, they're not talking. They're, yeah. But so it kind of felt It was awkward. kind of like, it wasn't yeah. that. It was just like, it was, it was dragging. Even though the movie's... 20 minutes it's dragging anyways yeah but it was just a little something i just well you're doing a short film you kind of always kind of keep to the point for the most part for the most part and this whole movie is kind of not that anyways i mean i've heard a lot of people say it's too long and all this but i did i did it the way i wanted to do it. it's my movie so shut up there you go um this is one of this is the first day again so the mirror shots this is the same day we shot that and i just love the lighting in here i think it's... i like the lighting i think this is um and not to put down any of the acting in the rest of the film but i think this is the my favorite acting part between the two characters like i, I just feel like you know you felt that because i think we've all been in that situation that nervousness to call oh, right. someone yeah, yeah, and yeah, yeah. i thought they both portrayed it very well and that's my cell phone she's using um yeah <laughs> Represent. yeah i uh i totally agree with that i think she really played it i mean the thing is you're going in between this darkness Mm-hmm. of his room and the brightness of her room it's kind of mm-hmm. weird because you're supposed to act like it's both nighttime and her yeah. room, there's no way we could have made it nighttime because she had no electricity yeah so um yeah so we ended up just using what we had this shot's actually sped up you watch his mouth it's actually going extremely fast look at it there's oh, no wow. way, there's no way he's talking he doesn't talk that fast yeah um this is a shot that i kind of regretted holding on this for so long but it doesn't seem that long now, but I remember wondering if I should have cut something else. That's my hands. Here's I love the music here. The music yeah, is which was written by my brother, brother, my Josh best friend. Stone. Yeah, he yeah, he, wrote, he composed all the music, pretty much he, all the music. There's like did, one piece. He it's did not. phenomenal with that. I remember he burned me a CD with just two songs from this on there. Is that how many songs? Yeah, there's just two. two? Yeah. There's actually another song, but I used like a sample of something. Yeah, but and I think I for three months straight it stayed in my CD player, and I just listened to it over and over. It's a great. It's it, great. It's he really composed, good. He, he, here's the deal about him writing the music. It's it's the movie. Like yeah. if you don't, it's the, pretty much the dialogue. It's like it's demonstrating what the relationship's going through. Whenever it's sad, it has the sad tones. Whenever it's alone, it has the low tones. And yeah. whenever it's they're happy and they're in a good relationship it has that you know the brightness of the piano and all that stuff so i think it's it it was it was it had to be there and it was the strong point of the movie yeah um i love this i love love, love little this. little quick note about the the last scene then those four guys in the background actually just came out of uh uh, alcohol awareness or whatever it is. Uh, they, were in, they were in double. Or yeah. What is it? AA. AA. Yeah, they just got out. Of, <laughs> they got out of a, a AA meeting and they were they came in and did that. We just got them randomly. That's uh, the girl's boyfriend at the time was just walking by and they were. I don't think he was comfortable with them holding hands, but. So you're kind of jealous. I'm sure. Um, there's oh, well, me in the background. There's there's Adam. The cinematographer's over there on the right, and he actually had a mosquito bite on his forehead. You can see that right there. And Josh did? Yeah. And they were not eating salsa. It was just tomato paste. So I'm sure that was great. <laughs> were you too cheap to buy yeah, salsa? Yeah, we were so bored. We couldn't afford anything but potato paste. And oh, that looks like uh, our house. Yeah, that's our house. That's actually, yeah, the house mm-hmm. we live in. And this is where the mosquito bite actually came from in the pr- prior scene. it's we, we were out here and mosquitoes were everywhere. I bet. And the cinematographer handed me the camera and was like, you shoot it. I, he, uh, he didn't want to be around the mosquitoes so this is all shot by me. Alright. And this was like one of the first moments. Good, of, good first kiss. Like, when first yeah. kiss goes, I, th- little, I think they... A little soft focus there. Not even really focused well. This is the first time I ever held an SLR right here. 
All That's right. right in this moment. So and this is one of my favorite shots I've ever this done. This is mine, and I've asked um, Adam explain how you did it because I've asked him a million times, and yeah, I just like hearing it. So. A lot of people, um, a lot of people assume this is a dolly, and it's actually not. This is a, this is a, <laughs> it was like a um, laundry basket with wheels, and we stuck a little piece of. It was, a, it was like a violin case across it and put the camera on top of it. That's why it's so shaky and juddery. But I love the shot, even though... I even like the shakiness and everything. I don't know, just something about that whole shot was just... It, you know, it's only, what, like 10 seconds long, but it's just... Right. I don't know. I just, I just love it. It's one of my favorites. I get goosebumps whenever I see it. That's good. I'm glad I'm giving someone goosebumps. Cause... <laughs> Give it someone. At least one yeah, person. At least got one person. Yeah. And I'm pretty sure I'm not the only person. I'm Where sure. was this shot at? This is at Tech. Uh, this is like a classroom. And that guy behind there was actually uh, the gaffer. He did a bunch of stuff in the film. I was really appreciative. He came in and actually helped edit a lot of stuff, too. He was oh, really, cool. He was great. Does you still have that picture in your room? Um, yes, this is actually still hanging in my room. This was given to me by my... That is your room. Yes, this is yes, my room, okay. yeah. This is actually given to me by uh, my girlfriend, uh, and I wanted to put it in the movie, because this movie is kind of about, kind of, not really, but very loosely based off our relationship of, yeah. the, of the ups and downs, but I'm not an artist So there's some truth all. in all this? There's a lot of truth. There's... There's nothing I made up. This is all real, like, relationship stuff. Except for I don't party, though, so that's kind of... You really don't. And, He's uh, not a party. That's uh, our Is this friend. Josh? Where's Josh? It's our good friend Skylar and Chase are in this party scene right here. And um, as it moves around one more time, you'll get Dancing to see... Dancing guy number one is what I always call yes, him. Yes, he, uh, he's the composer that you're about to see over here. <laughs> there he is, I already see you. Yeah, there he is. And there's, we'll see him, here we go. There's the composer. He wrote <laughs> all the music. Except for uh, this piece right here, right? The next piece, he did piece? not write this okay. right here. Uh, that's one of my favorite shots, though. I bet uh, Lubbock National Bank owes me a lot of money for putting them in I there. I bank there. Oh, nice. <laughs> <laughs> they owe me some money. Um, don't, not really, though. Please don't sue me or something um <laughs> i love that i just love that we did that about four times and i just i knew like you know they weren't getting it the first few times i love that this is in reverse oh yes why so, did you put it there's a, you told me a reason why oh you did it. well, well but they were going from the rooftop to the apartment so it just felt weird that they were going up the stairs i guess even though it could still work that way it just and then putting it in reverse kind of like I don't know. I just kind of made this kind of pretty look to it. I don't yeah. Know. And then this... I, I think it's such a good choice. Like, it just... I don't know. Like, it's thought from a filmmaking point of view. I thought it was really cool. Like, just a simple little shot like that. And there... Like, it right. was just... Yeah, I just thought it was great. Good. I'm glad you liked it. Here's the worst lighting ever. Um, I... This is... I wanted everyone out of the room. I wanted to shoot it myself. And I really didn't... Uh, know anything about lighting or SLR. Her boyfriend or, wasn't in there? He was not, actually. <laughs> and it was awful because uh, the lighting was bad. I should have should have fixed it's it. It's not the best lighting I put it there, but it's not awful. Like mm-hmm. I don't think it takes away from the movie for me. Yeah, I think it was it was pretty much my fault at that. Um, this next stuff, uh, my brother suggests that I take away one year, four months later. He's like, just take that away. No one needs to see that. But I ended up leaving it in there. I so. like it because it kind of tells a story. Like, it's not like a quick... I like, like how that her hair's pulled up in this mm-hmm. one. You're kind of like, oh, she's like, doesn't care anymore. Yeah. You know, she's got... And it puts that, like, it's not just that, you know, hey, except he's got the same mosquito bite there. No, yeah. It it <laughs> but it's not like, you know, hey, it was two weeks later and they fell apart. You know, it's right. been some time. Right. There's the popcorn bowls, which were provided by my girlfriend. She bought those for me before this shoot, so I was pretty excited. That popcorn was nasty, though. I remember being really cold. I was, like, trying to get a few bites, and it was nasty. <laughs> um, I love this scene here because it was, like, I love those, you know, the lights being out What were they focus. really saying to each other? He was telling her that... Were he, they really arguing? Yeah, just to get it was... It was Because he always argued with her in real life, and he, I told him to really argue, argue with her at that time, so... <laughs> He started arguing about her music sucked and all this stuff. I love this shirt that he's wearing right there. So there's an Obama shirt that he's wearing. Skylar. That's yours, isn't it? Yeah, it's my shirt. <laughs> I do it. So I, was, I, I had to put that I wonder in who there. you voted for. I wonder. <laughs> uh, let's see. Who's I, that? Who's I, that guy? On this, in this scene, we lit this side green for jealousy and the other side red for anger. Didn't really realize that till later on that that's what ended up happening. But that's uh, Chase. He was actually in a Havlin video, if you, anyone's ever seen that. Um, this guy right here is named Miles. Um, he just stepped in and he became the, uh, I don't even know the title of it. Guess the, the other boy. The friend. other guy. The other the, guy? I guess I'd be the best of him. Yeah, and so there was actually Have you actually had a jealousy outrage like that? 
Um, no, I have not. I, I've, I never got, this, I've always kind of wanted to be in, been the, that guy. Yeah, like, this what, is the manifestation of which which I wish I could have done, like push this guy. But I, you know, I would hope I would be the person who was swinging. But to see Josh Cortez like that, I could I could never see him actually doing this in real life. He's such a yeah, he's usually he, pretty nice. Like he's yeah, a pretty nice a, guy, so. he's a nice guy. So I, yeah. This whole thing, there was no point between this and the next scene, so this random weird out-of-focus shot was the lead-in for these two shots right here. It's like, made no sense, but I think uh, it works for what, what it, it was. Does he actually have alcohol wrapped in that bottle? No, it's like, I think it's like, I think that's not even an alcohol bottle. That's uh, that's like, like a apple bottle? juice. That's yeah. apple juice. And then the one in, in the foreground is, uh, I think that really is alcohol in the foreground, but... He has, like, chips on his lap. So um, the whole time when you're writing this, was it all voiceovers? Um, for the most part? Like, did you did you want any dialogue at all? Or? Yeah, when I first wrote it, there was dialogue in the end. She says, she goes to the roof and she says, I love you. And mm-hmm. I ended up taking it out because I really didn't want it to be about a movie about they got back together. I mean, even, yeah. though, even though you, it's, it's pretty much... A, it kind of assumes that. Yeah. So it's not a movie about... It's a movie with about a complex... The complex That's in reverse, structure. isn't it? Yeah. yeah there we reverse. go. I knew yeah. this. I like this part. Smoke going back in. Um, I'm a, a cigarette movie. smoker, so I guess that's why I like that part. I heard this movie really is... Uh, when people watch it, they really need to smoke a cigarette after watching it. They're like... I think because, like, not only, like, I, you know, I've praised this, like, not only from a filmmaking, but, like, just a story. I Every guy, you know, that I, that you talk to has a story somewhat like this. And I would say every girl, for the most part, has a story like this. Not this exact same thing, yeah, but kind of. I like, agree you know, with And that. it's so, like, you know, you go through all the it's emotions with story. them, and you're like, I'm not going to lie, I'm probably going to need a cigarette after we do this commentary. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. This is my favorite sequence that we did. It was, like, thought of. Right, right in the moment. This was not even in the script about the reverse things. This is my favorite stuff is the reverse notes, and uh, it just came up on the day, and we I ended up putting in the shot list real fast, and we ended up shooting it at I think this day that you know it's him in front of the mirror, and even him calling oh, her. So good. It was all in one con- continuity issue. The picture's not ha- hung up back there. Oh. Um, but did y'all you, shoot this before y'all? Yeah, it was before, oh, way okay. before that. Yeah, it's like, um, but the con. Uh, yeah, I even know what I'm saying, but um, <laughs> sorry, it's all right. Uh, yeah, oh, the, the, it was just thought up on, on a different. I mean, like it was crazy. We ended up sh- ending that shoot at I think like 3 a.m. that day or something. It was crazy, but yeah, this is um, crazy. We to get him. Is to, he really crying? Yeah, he really did cry. He went out and mustered up those tears. It took him a while to do it, and I was ready holding the camera. And as soon as he was going, we went in there and shot it while he was really crying, and. Um, it was. It's very scary to have someone actually pull up emotions like that. But I bet. I mean, this is the way he works, and it's got to be kind of scary to ask someone to do that. It was. It was. But I. I, I think. He but I think he it, pulled it off. I think he knew his limits, and uh, I think he wasn't going to overstep his boundaries. I don't know. I think he did great. So I, I don't really. I didn't really care at that time. I was like, just do it. Just do just it. Come on, just do it. Do it. And all this was shot. Um, we never really got to the point of. How did she feel? You know, we're like focusing on him. I, I have always felt it's always from kind of his point of view and, on everything. Yeah, and it really is. I was trying to make which it you too. know that makes sense because you wrote it. Yeah, and it was hard to it's hard to really shine a light on you know. I, this why I was like why people we were always like why does he have a payphone? I was like well he broke his phone at the beginning of the sequence here. He throws it down. And he broke his phone, Mm-mm. and so that's why I'm like he's at a payphone now. I just I love payphones. I guess and you know I like payphones at movies. Yeah, and this is my favorite one of my favorite shots. I think the lighting's great. It has the two sided lights, but over is his, this her apartment? This is her that apartment. Y'all shot at? Okay. And the left mirror, you can actually see a, uh, some different cups like BK cup. And I see it. Yeah. So, and this is one of my favorite things. The birds in the background really excite me. I remember them flying around on the day. This is the last day of shooting right here. All, any, everything on the roof was the last day of shooting. Okay. And um, they're all flying around back there. Love it. Mm. And this is the end of the film. And I just want to kind of share a little bit of light if anyone ever had questions about it. Uh, if you do, if have you any, live in Lubbock, and if you know Adam, just ask him the questions. Just ask he's, me some questions. He's more than happy to talk about if it. If you're a young filmmaker and you want to know something, just he's taught me a just, lot. Just uh, come my way. I'm, I'm really happy about this first film that I did. I'm, Everyone who helped me on it, I'm just, you know, I'm extremely excited uh, that they did, and now I'm the 
place where I am now, my career, or whatever you even want to call it, but um, I'm just happy where I am, and I'm happy this film happened two years ago. Crazy it was two years ago, but um, thanks for listening. Um, Adam Paul Stone and Brandon Monette. That's me. All right, thanks, guys.